Our analysis coming out. But Q9, unbelievably solid against X-Rock. Hyping them up. The support's been loud for three days straight for them. How can you not support us? Can you finish the dang sweaty? Okay. Okay. A best of seven. Elevate are going to have an advantage early in this season because they get the first opening map selection. That also means they get their first control selection. So it is crucial for Q9 to keep things tight and hopefully extend this series later down the road where you see your arsenal and a very square footing on the Kurohana. E1, early time from Elevate, already counteracted. Sun having a little bit of a tough time locking down the shots to find the continual kills, but his help is around the backside, and that's good. You know, you mostly just want to get this by Q9. Claw will start to be popped immediately for Q9 and a War Machine soon to follow as well. Yeah, that range will eventually see him shut down. Sun takes him the hill, allows them to flip the spawns and the hard point simultaneously, and Klo will make sure that there is definition around holding the opposite corner. Here comes the hit for Q9. Broken ankles, doesn't matter. Elevate Not enough all. numbers to actually secure the break. We've got a tie game going into the next set. And mostly Uling, who are locking things up, and will elevate quickly, bounce right back in for the scrap. Gotta be careful with how far forward you push here. If you are elevate, giving up the Whoa. opposite side of the map, there's spawns when it matters most. Big two for Peach. On the catwalk, trying to make his way in, but net by Sun Sparrow, who's really getting to work with it now. Good read on where Elevator are coming from. Loses the last charge of it, now has to go back to the Fennec, and that works out nicely. Mauchi off the flank. He's got the equalizers out to make sure nobody from Elevate can cheese, setting up a bit of a pinch over towards the connector. Ugh, sloppy initially, but still he uses that as an opportunity to weaken this Elevate approach from the front. Curly's able to clean things up in the last 15 seconds. Looking good for Q9. Big moment here to counteract Q9's rotation from the last hard point. Susano feeling the pressure. Q9, I, I, they are twisted right now. They're reading all these spawns. They're maintaining presence around the hard point and setting themselves up for the returning gunfights as well. 193 to 160. Very good at this moment in time. Starting to push a little bit forward. He's actually going to catch a couple of spawners off guard. Able to find two more. There's still one hanging around the joint. It's Yopi. Easy cleanup will come through. There's a rogue player of PJ. Trying to get the War Machine into play. Purifier also being called here. Q9 trying to gain some separation on the scoreboard late into this map, and it's working out nicely. Trying to find whatever they can over the top of the hard point. Now spread across the map off the spawn. Equalizer called. Kendi's War Machine is about to dissipate as Oh no! Well. But it's value after value. 220 to 225. Not enough time for Elevate to still win here, but Q9 absolutely can. Q9 now taking the fight back, but Elevator winning gun oh, fights no. on rotation. Hard point has not unlocked locked yet. PJ from the front with the oh. shotgun, waiting for first contact. Not going to be needed. Elevate now earning the time that they need. Only need four more seconds. The crossfire setup looks perfect. Can anyone break in if you're Q9? They're trying to hit a pitch, but they're not going to get there in time. And Elevate take their hard point for map one. You just have to cement it for whatever leader's advantage you could possibly get, especially for how Mixy P3 can reset up everything. Firing range is a venue these two teams know quite well against one another with Elevate having the edge. Yeah, casual 22 round. They will be on offense. We die. They love to just smoke, flash, Nade, and then get the bomb planted. With the backside of trailer, easier said than done as Q9 already had the post plant set up. What a sick high-low after a very quick plant coming through. It's going to leave Susano in a 1v5. Not very likely. Always, I mean, a, a blistering pace for a first round out of Q9. Just clearing everything. Stuns, nades, flash forward as you... Not towards A. It's going over to the B site. Initially, there is an elimination from Susana, but the trades are decent over towards the B part of the map, which is now where Q9 have to keep their focus. And they have full coverage of this. But Elevator setting themselves up for a late flank, potentially for Yopi, or he might just join the efforts through the middle of the map, uh, but an exit frag upon the bomb plant. 3v3. Yeah, maybe a bit of mistiming right there. Looked like there was supposed to be a defensive stun to force that challenge, but it doesn't make a difference. Yopi just slides off, finds two. PJ oh behind him, and the dynamic SNG duo. Looking callback, just wait for the call. For now, Q9 going to see what they can find over towards the B part of the map. Oh my gosh, Susana. Smoke PJ is very much so still lurking inside a trailer. PJ on the cross. Shots are out. Misses ah. his opportunity. Has to value his life here. For a wrap. They're going to try to flood this from the front. Contact though at mid. That's troubling for Elevate Mount. And Q9 can keep their full focus on the front, where PJ has to force the issue. Nothing there. Perfect from Q9. Yeah, wonderful execution coming through once they finally got the ice. Find yourself in a 4v5. Try to go for an egregious pick over there for Kendi, and Susana loses his life. It's over. Yep. Absolutely is. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. I mean, there's really, there's two ways that Elevate could deal with this play down A lane. Right. The, I just have to do this the old fashioned way, just got this first player. Oh, but Susano does go one for one. That's fine, especially with another teammate nearby. Damage is out, but Klo will fall. No easy 1v1s, otherwise you might give Uling an opportunity. All the trigger discipline shots to the second. Ah, not going to be able to walk away with that one.
No nope. weird setup for Q9. They're actually doing the same thing again. It's a double smoke at mid. It's almost the exact same setup. There's no smoke deep at A. This is only to give Element something to worry about at middle. And Kendi is able to still find Mauchi. Top side wood. Play coming through trailer. Shen in some trouble. Wants to get some barrel control, but it's being held by Yopi. Considerate of the space, he still holds down the trigger. Uli looking for the plant, and he will get it down, but it's still numbers advantage for Elevate as Clo finds trades at mid. Not as clean as you would like. It's going to leave Sun in a 1v3. Does have a sniper rifle, but is not in the clutch position. No. He's going to round this corner. He's just going to. But you were the last player. Elevate on this defensive half. Just making sure Q9 weren't getting away with absolute is a play through trailer. Curly looking for an off angle. That works out for one trade, but can't get anything more. Now it's just down to Chen, and he is working with the shotgun. Not what you want, but Elevate still may feel the need to try to push forward. Instead, Chen gets caught. Same could be said as a secondary kill comes on to Mao Chi, and Elevate take an open. This is just a great IGL call for Q9 to move your shotgun this direction. You're not going to feel a threat in trailer in a 3v5. Nice opening shot from Kendi. Do they know Chen's nearby? Does it matter? Kendi sees one up top. That's Curly initially, and there's Chen in the corner. Yeah, it's a heck of an opening, but again, the numbers advantage. Likely too much. A hit marker comes through, though, Susano. Oh, hold on. A minute has already gone through this round number nine thus far. Not a whole lot of space has been taken by Elevate, but these nades are going to allow them to do so. It's interesting. There's two trophies for Elevate at mid. None down here in A long. And this is what I'm talking about. Sun can watch one way through, and it's going to have at this point. Nice shots coming through from Klo. Is going to break it. DJ on an off angle front side trailer. Klo watching for the pinch. Motion from PJ. He gets the first. That gives a little bit of influence in terms of what Klo needs to watch, but he only goes one for he one. He has to check for the defuse. Does he get forward in time? No, get down, Mr. President. Oh, Curly's able to find the kill, and Q9 get the defuse. Yeah, Smoke no. that. Oh, that Nate does land, though, so they're going to have an idea that Chen's in position. This is an important 1v1 that Klo takes cleanly. And that's all the information you need right there. Chen Wait. swings wide. He has an LMG. Good couple kills come through. The nade bounce is even better. Still walks away with a second 1v3. Have to be a full ace. If you're Chen up to the uh, first dude, he's yeah. going to cut down from behind. I was about to say for a moment. There is a smoke on site, though, for the defense for Q9. This will gain a little bit of extra time and a little bit extra space for the defenders playing deep over towards tires. Also, the rotation in from mid is decent. Even trade for the most part to this point. 4v3. Advantage to Q9. Kendi around the back. What? What a set of shots from Kendi. And now all of a sudden, Q9 forced to have to defend from inside the site. Klo trying to follow up, and he's going to find the final two. Elevate on map point. Oh my god. He might try to go for a little bit of a late pinch. Should the rest of his teammates find success on a quick pass? The shotgun this Correct. time. So it's an aggressive oh, yeah. angle on the barrel. Smoke denied by Trophy System, mm. but Sun showing too much shoulder. That's enough for the kill to come out. 4v5 situation. Long wrap from PJ. Can Elevate hold on long enough for this to get here? Klo already in the mix. He's got the shots from the back line. How about Elevate? Oh, it's all down to one. Mauchi for what would have to be a 1v4. No nades. Tries to jump into trailer. Ah, seen at mid by Susano, and Elevate take it down 7-5 at a massive edge in this grand final. Finding early success, and you were able to take them down here. You're going to need all of those saw in that map number three versus X-Rock, plus a little bit extra. Elevate never give you any easy gunfights, as you see in the opening here. This is their map selection for the controls. They will start on offense, and PJ is already off and running. Keep laundry safe, but the Q9 defense is being tested. Now you've got Elevate forcing some hands over towards B while simultaneously adding an extra 60 seconds with the A capture. Elevate, and now as the action starts to unfold on top of the zone, oh, yeah, the print missile called in. That will be enough to allow Elevate to stay deep over towards laundry. They're on the zone. Second ticket progress is looking good. And look where Q9 are spawning. They have to try to hit this through mid pillars. Kendi stunned up. Top side ring. <laughs> Kendi, unbelievable shot. But he does get pushed off the zone. Q9 down to a 4v6. Make it just two as Elevate continue to dominate through laundry. A segment by any means necessary. The contest is not going to be coming in close enough. And a 1v6 just impractical to ask for. And they're opening with the Annihilator. Has another Pred Missile to work with. And the shots just aren't missing. PJ. Five in a row, working for an EMP. He's just one off of it. The Pred gets called in, and Q9 are getting battered. As now all of a sudden, Yopi's adding oh. insult to injury. Ah, it's beautiful. Sheer destruction, sheer bloodshed, and it's Elevate all over the spot of Q9. 40 seconds remain, and Q9 are trailing by a payload of lives. 28 seconds on the clock, but they're still looking for kills before they can commit to staying on the zone. 14 will play nine. We'll have a minute 19 on the clock. Keith 
1v1 here. Shots landing for Mauchi, but respecting the opponent of Glow. Nate Cook tossed back towards, and that's going to be good enough to isolate. So 9-13, to 13, operators at the ready. All five for Q9. How do you approach? Not the all five operators. So that gives you an opportunity to maybe try to work on this transition. They trade one in their base. Here comes the Annihilator. Clean. Owling able to use that to clear out Art. And now he's got domination over the pillars. Kendi. Yeah, he's still alive and kick it. Kendi almost able to put this together himself. 10v3. Elevate with a significant life lead. But at the same rate, Q9 only spent one of the operators. So yes, they're going to be down 0-2, but they will have a lot to play with going into round three. I mean, but with the War Machine. He is throwing it in the wrong direction. That was Elevate are making moves over towards A. The window. Q9 around the back. Not able to find success off the pitch. It's PJ and Yopi because of course it is. They're able to find every single elimination. And this A zone is already being torn apart as no one can find entrance for Q9. I mean, will be contested by a couple of Q9 players, but nobody's uh -oh. looking in the corner for where PJ is lurking. Yeah. Are we going to contest it with the sniper rifle? Get dead anyway. You can start to feel the frustration from Q9. And they're just diving in and they're getting oh. torn <laughs> apart. PJ for three. B zone likely already gone and Q9 have been blasted out of map three. Elevate are going to be on championship point in the blink of an eye. It's not over yet. Ready yet. Had to get through Wolves, had to get through X-Rock, had to get through Q9, and that's just that CDSI here at Champs. And so far, it's been good. But Q9 on their map selection, starting things off hot after, of course, they just won this map versus X-Rock a moment ago. That yeah, split spot almost immediately will start to incur, but a great opening few engage. Good opening, first 20 seconds go to Elevate, but they are now spawning out. Q9 from behind, not finding success on their break with the proximal spawns, and now Elevate are alerted to the play. Uh, Q9 thought that they had the better advantage Advantage. They got some curves, and then Elevate get the freeze angle. They oh, just man. all shift their focus forward, and it's a bloodbath across the land. But somebody's going to have to watch that very beautiful car. But Q9 sent packing on the rotation to new. Yeah. Gets cut down almost immediately. Look at the operators ready to be pulled by Elevate 2 in response. Uh, they've got office control. They've got patio control. And they're just throwing everything. All five operators at one point were out. Still swinging for the fences. Teed up and knocked out are Q9 as they are being read like a third grader's book and Elevate reads at a sixth grade level. It is about to be 120 to 22. Oh and Elevate with the office spawns, it's just a hop, skip, and a jump to the next door. And this is an important rotation here. Q9 have to have something to talk about, but Elevate have an EMP, they have a Pred Missile, and there may be an issue as everything has paused. And Elevate's looking around like, what do you mean? <laughs> are up on championship points should they win this map for indeed the case we will be starting off what looks to be uh for uh, here we go 67 to 19 that was weird how we spawned it not gonna lie all right we got our bearings straight <laughs> i just got so bamboozled everyone just teleported all over the map but we're ready to go again elevator coming over towards the p2 side up and over kenny trying to find some different angle to make a move but not gonna work out what a clean break for elevator the scrap time now trying to take the battle a step further as Q9 are a bit stuck over towards Lambo. The scrap at one starts to fade away, and now we look towards the minimap. What happens towards P2? LMA currently winning rotation, but Q9 fighting back. Go over towards the U-Haul. Yopi. He's got himself up and open with initially what was a Sparrow, and actually on the response here, Q9, they throw a Gravity Vortex gun into the point. That works out nicely. Curly following up with the Equalizer, but only gets one. And Elevate, well, they might just have to concede it, but they're trying to take yeah, advantage it, of this pinch that comes through Chen, but the Pure Fire shuts the majority of it down. I mean, for that flank to start coming through, but all the respawners were able to read it. Here come some operators being invested. It's shrouded by the Predator missile for them to move forward. Yes, yeah, Susan already being pressured. PJ's trying to step into the smoke. How has he managed? to do that. How has he managed to do that? PJ! What are we talking about? What a three-piece for PJ! Chen and Curly trying to hang on, not able to do so as Susano gets himself three in a row as well. And Elevate have blown the lid wide up open to the P3. For the first time this entire map for Q9 have a lead. 178 to 158, we go again. Dive into the smoke. Susano, good read, able to clean up Uling. Now it's just down to what else can he find? And part of me, is that smoke even on screen? Susano is blitzing everybody through it. Now, but Elevate, now on three in a row, can get more time to try to this back to level terms. Q9 now on the unfavored side, but it's just sprinting straight into the site itself. 225 to 210, 
favor to Q9. Curly is going crazy right now. 47th kill for them in this map. Number four, 228. And counting on up, but PJ still hanging around the joint. Is able to combine for two. Sun's nade at least finds a trade on the club. But Whoa. all this time is damning. And Elevator getting closer to the lead. A bit split as Elevator just run right in. It surprises Q9. The trades are good and Elevator gonna get the early time. Equalizer called. Needs to fight shut value. Down. Curly shut down almost immediately. Four dead, five all wiped off the floor. Elevate can still win here. Last 10 seconds over the last month, the Cod Gods have given its toughest challenge to its strongest warrior. And at the end, there are no more questions. There are no more doubts. Elevate are the greatest Call of Duty mobile team in the world. Eastern Hemisphere, Elevate did it on the world stage. Your 2024 world champions, it's Elevate!